favorite place. Well, my favorite place being fabric. And this is the beginning of what I'm going to be showing you on today's little episode on Crafts Create Change. And yes, I'm wearing my mask. Gotta keep safe, so stay tuned. Hey you guys, so welcome to this new playlist, Crafts Create Change, and I'm going to be putting some really cool projects, and I know you hear the sewing machine, uh, really cool projects that you can make and donate. New book is coming out in spring 2021, but this is just a preview of different things. So for this video, uh, we're doing two different projects, and um, I kind of am editing this uh, video differently so because I kind of had to do things in advance because yeah you guys know just like mama and I don't have any time sometimes so these are the masks that have um, the speaker voice uh, this one says you don't have to be rich or famous to help people this one says this one's a little kitty this is great for kids and I'm not showing you how to do masks we all know we can get videos on Pinterest you can get videos on YouTube and how to make masks um, I'll have a link below if you want um, Mimi G has on easy mask um, so you can do that but what I'm all I'm showing you is how to personalize it using your voice because we're all using masks now so how can we personalize it to use our voice and when we can't use our I mean you can but sometimes people can't hear you um, and this one vote show your support um, your favorite quotes etc um, and if you want any of these that I uh, that I created I actually created this on the Cricut machine if you don't have a Cricut machine um, there's ways that and I'm gonna put in the below <coughs> how you could print something out and then iron it at home they have it at Hobby Lobby Joanne fabrics all that fun stuff but if you want um, this one that says you don't have to be rich or famous uh, go ahead and email me at hello at dear gotta be there yet.com and I will mail you this vinyl and that's it because it's really small all you do is just iron it um, but everything else you can do it on the Cricut if you have a Cricut if you don't have a Cricut um, and you're a crafter uh, the Cricut is she's my baby so that is the first project and I will put some um, snips and bits right here all right so here I am creating the designs. I already did my popular one, You Don't Have to Be Rich or Famous. And I was totally inspired to just show you guys this project because this is something how what you can do to, again, use your voice. I mean, we are all masked up and all of us have our different masks. And um, you, how do we keep these conversations going? And so I thought to inspire, you know, my niece and having something creative for her to wear or something that she's really powerful um, you know what she believes in um, we can do uh, women a voting one as you can see that I did um, and again this the whole mask I'm not going to show you how to make a mask there's a million uh, <laughs> YouTube videos on how to make masks but if you have existing masks you can do this um, if you don't have a Cricut you can as you can see I this is what I'm using my Cricut machine but if you don't you can literally go to Walmart Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics and you can do what's called the print and peel and basically you print it you peel it and you iron it people use it for their um, sports events etc and here are the this is the outcome I think they came out pretty awesome like my niece loved it motivated her to wear her mask even though she's really good about um, you know her masks and my popular you don't have to be rich or famous to help people every time I wear this my shirt um, or something similar to this quote, I, I see people always nodding and they're like, yeah, that is so true. And of course, we are in the, you know, presidential election and voting is super important. So spreading that word and uh, motivating others is super, super. Here important. are the masks. Vote. Yeah, okay, so we are making the sustainable um, hand towels here it is as you can see and they snap off and then we can just use them we're saving the world and here I'm gonna go ahead and put them back I'm gonna finish them we're gonna finish sewing them and then I'm gonna show you the finished product all right, so I was totally inspired by this project with these reusable toilets, toilet, uh, 
wallets, uh, towels, <laughs> so that we can save the planet, save the universe, save our world. And as you can see, I just literally just took a paper towel that we have and we have the very um your size mat whatever matters whatever size you would like um and then i just took my grommet and i measured in between so that the snaps are evenly distributed on each side um so that it's easy for me to take them on and off and i think the product the finished product came out really good and i think it's going to be really easy to wash and put back and this is the final product which i think they came out good huh prima so that's it that concludes it we did the masks and we did the paper towels yes all right you guys i'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe and like and share